Avatar 3. What about it? You know what the title is? Avatar 3. Colon. Like he's having a colonoscopy? I'm talking about... Avatar gets a colonoscopy. <laughs> that's it. Avatar gets a colonoscopy. Avatar. No. Avatar, colon, you know, the, the, the tool that's used in grammar. Fire and ash. Like Pokemon? Like my daughter. I was thinking ash from Pokemon. Josh! Hey, we'll go back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. <laughs> what what happened? Uh nothing. This is Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Horn Juice Gonda, like every on Patreon, follow us on the guns and like button. Today, what are we doing, Rick? Exactly. Uh we, he started with me in in mid bite. <laughs> uh today we got a uh, this is a a little kind of um honors the spirit of India in a un unique way. Uh, every cap, everything, every frame capturing the unity and diversity of a nation. This is kind of like almost like a kind of a tourism slash celebration of India. It's called the Celebrate the Rich Tapestry of Indian Culture with the Powerful Aham Bharatam. I am India uh, video. So hopefully it's as good as Made in India. Made in India. Mm. You love that song. I do. Ready? Yep. Ooh, feet. Mother, I bow to thee. Sounds like Raja come. Rich with thy hurrying streams, bright with thy orchard gleams. What is that voice? Cool with thy winds of delight. Dark fields waving, mother of might, mother free. Midnight dreams. Over thy branches and lordly streams. Who is that? Clad in thy blossoming trees. Mother, giver of ease. Laughing low and sweet. I kiss thy feet. I kiss thy feet. I kiss thy feet. These are some beautiful shots. Sweet and low. Mm. Oh, come on. Mother, to thee I bow. Is it rush to come? Mother, to thee I bow.
शांति That was gorgeous. What a video. I what a what a really really pretty. The, the the time and detail on those visuals were off the charts. Yeah. Uh, and I loved the narration at the beginning whoever they had doing the narration. I just with that music underscore um thought that was really pretty. Yeah, the, the visuals on it were very stunning. My goodness, yes, the uh, time put into that. Om Pori! That's who it is! I know <laughs> I knew the voice! It's like, I know that voice! Yeah, it was a familiar voice. Ah, oh, It was driving Corbin crazy, it in was. case you couldn't tell. It was. Because I was like, I know, I was like, I, I knew it probably wasn't Rajnikanth, but that's the only one that could come to my head. Um... Yeah, he's an iconic voice, Om Puri. Um, not as iconic as uh, Amresh Puri, but still iconic. Who do you think has the most iconic voice in India? I think it's probably, uh, there's three. Yeah. So there's, and I think my opinion, it would be Amresh because he is such, like, his deep voice. Then Big B and even Kamal. I was going to say, you got to put Kamal Hassan Kamal, in there. Yeah. I don't think his voice was as icon like uh, noticeable when he was younger, but as he's gotten older, it's gotten deeper and raspier. And, yeah, um, and so it's so recognizable. It, recognizable for me, I don't know what Indians would say. I'm sure all of them would recognize it, but one of the most easily recognizable voices for me is Nasiruddin Shah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, but I th and, my, but, and, and my narration's Shah Rukh is yeah, quite oh yeah. recognizable. I mean, obviously, all the big stars are going to be yeah. iconic, but I think the ones that has the most unique voice, I mean, it might be actually Lal from <laughs> in, uh, in the Mali Elm industry. Mm. <laughs> he has a very iconic voice. Yeah. I mean, we're kind of going viral on Instagram. I know, I saw that. <laughs> when I said nobody else on the planet has that man's it's voice. It's true, it's true. Um, in the, uh, I think it was the... Um, Johnny Ma uh, watch along that we did. Yeah. Um, he has an iconic voice. His would be up there for sure, I think, in the top five. How about Harvey Fierstein? <laughs> uh, That's an iconic voice right there. Mohanlal and Mamudi do. But my, if I had to vote for one, it would probably be, be Harvey Fierstein. Be Amresh. Oh, the Harvey Fierstein. He has such a deep voice. Yeah. It's like. In my opinion, if the most iconic voice ever might be James Earl Jones. Globally? Globally? Yeah. That man has... That's probably correct. More Morgan Freeman as well. He's up there. Um, but both have iconic voices, but man, James Earl Jones has such a unique voice and a way of speaking, and he's done so like iconic. I mean, he's Darth goddamn yeah, Vader. Yeah. Or the voice of him, at least. He has one of the easy, <laughs> easiest jobs ever, but also, like... He's known as his character. Never once stepped foot in the outfit. <laughs> Never. In fact, he and, was. Uh, they redid it with him. And I think, yeah, I I think he did for the original Star Wars. I think he said it was two days' work. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but man, this uh, a great that video. Was that was beautiful. Beautiful. Really video. pretty. India has so much diversity in culture. In uh, obviously, they've been around since basically the beginning of humanity. Yeah. Uh, they've been around. <laughs> so, um, I think that was, it's the oldest language in the world. Known language. I wonder how many languages there have been. Ever? Yeah, of course. There's probably no way of actually knowing that, but. Cause all thousands. The ones, all the ones that people created that were never written. Yeah, there's thousands. Um. The dead languages. Dead languages. Yeah. But the ones that even weren't written. Yeah, there's, and, it's thousands. It's gonna, it's in the thousands. Cause the cavemen yeah. started communicating well, probably with grunts and stuff like that the way before they could write obviously <laughs> yeah it's a it's a i'm sure there's linguistic professors who can give you some semblance of an idea of what that's like it's one of my favorite things about the passion of the christ yeah. is how he resurrected dead languages to get that thing as accurate as possible for that film uh anyway it's great video let us know other videos we can react to. Uh, that was like so this. pretty. And who do you think has the most iconic voice in Indian cinema history? Please let us know down below. Just